Hi, welcome to RC Kicks. On today's show, we're going to be checking out this just dropped today by Tamiya. It's the TTO2 McLaren Senna. I don't know why they did it in white. You think it looked cool in like neon green or bright orange or something. So uh, yeah, we're not doing it box art, that's for sure. So in this episode, we're going to unbox it, take a good look at the body set as not really interested in the TTO2, but the body set and this wing, the wheels looks pretty cool. What chassis to put it on? TCO1 maybe? Or unless we can think of something else to put it on. Let us know, hit it in the comments. Also, a massive congratulations to Tina for winning the GT Power Charger. This will be winging its way to you soon. Right, I think that pretty much covers everything, so hit it, Charlie. finally arrived well I say it finally arrived it's actually been in the UK for quite a while it's been sitting in a warehouse waiting for the release date so for once it finally came to the UK early and then it was held back until release day anyway we got it in the end and I must admit Oh, I'm excited for this one. The body is beautiful. And we know Tamiya always knock it out of the park when it comes to their bodies and their scale designs. Now I'm a bit sort of like, why is it on the TTO2? I know they're trying to keep the prices down, but wouldn't it have been a perfect TCO1? I'm tempted, I must admit, to put a different kind of chassis underneath this. Well, that's what I'm going to do, but I'm not sure what I'm going to go for. I could pick up a used TCO1, I don't know, comment below, what would be a really good road chassis for this? I don't know, I've got a TCO1 that I turned into a rally car. Yeah, don't worry about that. So I'm not too keen on getting another chassis the same. I'd like to put something that I haven't had on the show before underneath this beautiful body. But we'll paint it all up anyway, and then I'll figure out the chassis afterwards, as I'm always falling behind. Uh, whether I'll build up the TTO2, probably not. I might end up doing something else with that body down the line. So let's open it up, take a look at what you get for your money. Now this one's got an ESC and it's got a motor in it. So I'm quite surprised about that. But don't get too excited, it's just a standard kit. So presentation is exactly what you'd expect. Everything is just lobbed in the box. Now check this out. This is absolutely huge and uh, definitely a cool bit of kit the size of that and obviously that is bespoke to this car and they did a fantastic job it looks really good and then you've got the wing mirrors as well so super cool and i'm sure some of the drifters will be nabbing one of these to put on their car this one came with a carlson ese but yours may or may not do then we've got the package standard abc look a torque tune motor which is something you don't normally see in these kits anymore. Uh, obviously, there is no bearings at all, and it's a pretty standard TTO2. So the body, the main part of it, and it's good to see the wheel arches are actually cut out for you. And the detail of this thing is gorgeous. Look at the back, where you've got all the vents. Now, this the real version of this car is really aggressive looking, and they've gone to a lot of trouble to get all the details right. And there's the air scoop and then the doors. So this one is going to take quite a while to paint up. That's for sure. But you should be able to get quite a bit of detail. One thing that I think that they really missed out on with this kit is doing an interior. This is all blacked out windows. And being that the, the windscreen is actually really large, it's a real shame because the body is so detailed. So if there's anybody out there that has the skills to make an inter uh, interior for this, it is screaming out for it. And it would look amazing because you'd be able to see it really well. So that is something that I'd love to see on the aftermarket scene. But I think I'm going to do, mine is going to be copper. I think I'm going to do a bright copper color. 
let's have a look at the wheels. Now, I don't think these are just for this kit. I'm pretty sure these have probably turned up on a few other things. They're not exactly like the real one, but they're close enough and they're pretty cool. Obviously, you probably want to paint them up yourself. Tires, standard road tires. Yeah, quite nice then. Then you have the standard chassis. Nothing too exciting to uh, write home about. Let's have a look at the decals. That's what I'm interested in because we've done we've done these a million times before. Bumper. But let's have a look at the decal sheet. Now, another thing with this one that might be a bit more of a challenge as well is the back seems to be in a standard position for the body mounts, but the fronts are quite far up. Now on a TCO one, they need to be down here, but I think putting it here is quite a good idea because you can cover that up. That's actually like a black piece that goes over the whole thing. So it would be quite easy to make those to disappear if you needed to put it on something else. But uh, there we go. Sorry, I forgot to mention before. It just reminded me because I saw the body mounts here. So there's a lot of painting to be get done on this one. That's for sure. And a lot of decals. So it's going to take you a while, this one. That's for sure. But let's see the decals. Let's have a look. Oh, wow, look at this. <laughs> I dare not turn it over. Oh, that looks like fun. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so there's a lot of little carbon bits. Like I was saying, this bit goes over the front and then you poke holes in it for the body mounts. So you could lose those front body mounts, which is a good thing. Lots and lots of carbon bits. And then you do get all the window masks, but this one is going to be a challenging one that's for sure so yes a fantastic body set and it's going to be a challenge look at all those carbon stickers but the detail level they went to was brilliant really like it and check this this is the spoiler i cut it out it fits on there <laughs> look at that it's going to be fantastic definitely needs to be in some funky colors some lime green oranges or something like that and hopefully maybe we'll get some aftermarket bits and pieces for it to raise the level definitely needs an interior for sure that would just really push it out of the park anyway thanks very much please like and subscribe see you on the next one oh.